I should not be seen in this area.
to get on the other side. Eivor, welcome to my shop. I came to ask a favor. It is pleasant to strengthen friendships. What do you seek? Barith wishes to show Flan the value of Dublin's trade. Could we obtain a gift from a distant land? This is the very problem vexing me. You see, I have acquired land in Rathdown, previously owned by Thorstein, in fact. But the land has gone to Thorn and Dog, smugglers as well. Once cleared, its trading route will serve our heart's desire. In this case, my heart desires an exotic gift, which would be... A spice merchant I know covets pelts of fine fur. Rathdown has an abundance. It is a perfect match. Spies is a gift fit for a king. Thank you, Asar. It is north of here. You go clear it of smugglers while I sit on my ass. No need for thanks. Rather than north of Dublin, I should journey there.
This area is off limits. Smugglers. The Tsar needs them cleared away. Be my eyes. That can save you now. You're one of Asar's men. I am. Azar tells me you two are interested in furs to trade for a gift. You'll show King Flan the reach of Barith's trade. We'll get the furs you need. How can I help? With trade post supplies. We'll build up the post for better and faster trade. Where would I get these supplies? Monasteries are a good place. They'll have what you need. Ireland must have many trading posts. It does. Each post trades specific goods. Here, we gather fours. But elsewhere, all manner of things. I'm curious how you and Asar work together. I gather pelts, treat them, and send the fur to Dublin. Azar trades them across the seas. We want to build up the post, both to send bundles of furs to Azar more often, and to store more to send. Thank you, friend. Goodbye, Eivor. To the Swan Road. Let the sail out! Let's have a song. We need an epic tale. 
story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell. We'll continue later.
Goliath on the way, Rosa! Got a story. Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's horn. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling Stop. through the Stop. door of the hall. I set this good ball upon the men of Ingling for their dishonor. We looked outside and saw that Unar and severed one of the heads of the Ingling's horses and stuck it upon Let's a hazel Let's put it in here! Branch. Hold on, good scout. I see by your smile that the expedition was fruitful. Should we build something? I see by your smile that the expedition was fruitful. Well done. We'll send the forest to Dublin. Azar will help you find more posts to capture. Goodbye, friend.
Eivor, the first have arrived from Rathdown. We can now trade for Flo. Azar, you have your trade post. In fact, I have heard from the trader himself. We have furs enough for Flan's gift. Here, my friend, make the trade. Spices that cannot be obtained anywhere else. I will see them delivered for the coronation. Flan will certainly grasp the strength of Dublin's trade. Speaking of, Eivor, there are abandoned trade posts across Ireland. You're suggesting I claim them to increase Dublin's reach. We will gain access to goods we could not otherwise obtain. There is great bounty to be had. I will look for opportunities. Meanwhile, I'll find Barrett. He'll be pleased for your flaunt's gift. <laughs> 